Welcome back, everybody. Today is another episode of the Educational Smurf series with a nice little twist. That twist being that this is a hero that I literally never play. So today we have given the dire an extra 1,000, oh, it's this way on the camera, 1,000 MMR average over my teammates. And I am playing a hero I don't normally play at all. This is a hero that is getting seen a lot in the meta because he's universal, goes a lot of stat items, is getting played carry, mid, and offlane. And he has a built-in farm mechanic that buffs his damage based on his base damage, which goes up higher because he's universal with base stats. So you guys are getting the drift, right? Where it gets Ursa, where it gets Timbersaw. We first picked Magnus, a hero we never play. We're in bad matchups, 1,000 MMR to the other team. What could you guys possibly ask for more than a disadvantage than this? So as you can see, we have a very nice amount of base damage going here. Since we're against Ursa CM, we definitely have to be bing chill. Uh, we really can't afford to take too much damage because we're trying to rush a ring of health. We might not go the, go the full vanguard. We do need the ring of health because CM's going to harass us a lot. But we might just elect to leave it at a ring of health because vanguard doesn't necessarily keep us alive against Timbersaw Ursa. Ursa's in our lane, Timbersaw mid. So with that in mind, like we might just not um, finish it at all. So I elected not to go stick just because Ursa as a carry usually levels Fury Swipes, so he doesn't really cast any spells. A lot of people go stick because there's a lot of uh, early engagements like this one. Ursa is bottom. We should feel pretty safe to walk at their room. People take Shockwave level 1 in order to secure the creep. We're also going to get a lot of harass on CM here. Nice, we got the Blood Grade. I harass- okay, 5 position player. Actually, no, we all have our name, B5. He was supposed to give me the last hit, but that's okay. I've given this public service announcement a bunch of times, guys, but first blood is worth 400 gold. Please do not feed at runes. If your team is making a play at the other rune, just let the other team have it. I have died like that, and I'm telling you, this Crystal Maiden player is not doing what he needs to do. He did what he needed to do there. He did secure the room. Or the range. Damage is easy. 90? Okay. I thought it was 85, to be honest. So we're trying to keep the lane outside the tower. Doing a little creep aggro drag here. It's a little fancy mechanic that you can do to make the lane come back to you a little bit. But they did a good job of maintaining lane equilibrium as well, so it's about even still. But against these heroes, we just don't really want to pressure unless CM's gone like this. So we can take aggro off our range to make it so Ursa cannot walk up to it and secure it. And then he backs off, and then we get the deny. That's the nice thing about Mag. He has a range creep securing ability. That's why a lot of people play him even as carry right now. I mean, amongst all the other reasons I said. He just feels really nice. So, since we're not going Vanguard and they're not really harassing me that much, I'm actually going to go a bunch of stat items. I'm actually going to adjust mid wave or uh, mid lane. We're going to go two bracers instead. That's like a, you know, a little bit of a compromise for health regen. But it gives us a lot more damage to work with because we're a universal hero and bracer got buffed by one damage recently. So we are absolutely free farming. And whenever you're in like a pseudo, like not that great matchup, like Ursa vs. Mag, we're just chilling. Also, when we're not too familiar with our teammate or like, you know, the, we don't really coordinate right now because we're not talking to them, we're just going to play super chill. We're holding a skill point because we're not sure if we want to level uh, our E to get away or kill somebody. In case we almost tried to kill the CM, but he wasn't quite far enough out of position. It's a little bit harder for me to talk just because... Pump fake your spell there, just because I'm not used to mag. But I like pump faking my spell because then if he continues to contest it, then I will deny it, or I'll use it. But if he backs off like he did, because he thinks I'm going to use my spell, then I will proceed to just uh, not use it and get this creep for free. So we're definitely out CS in this Ursa, because I, I don't know if we've even missed a single creep, to be honest. But we're purely going for the, like, 
Stat item, damage, CS, win the lane by doing that sort of deal. We could be getting the Lotus. Um, I want to finish this range group first. Try Ursa. Nobody in this game is prioritizing the Lotuses, huh? In my game, these are gone at three minutes, six minutes. <laughs> the people just pick them up immediately. Uh, so he's pulling small, we see that. But in this case, we can still drag to range. I kind of fucked up a little bit there. Which is good to deny our range creep off. Oh no. Since it's just a single pull at the small, we don't feel inclined to contest it. And since we're going to be alone in a second and they're chasing the Pugna, I want to push in the lane as quickly as possible so the Ursa might miss a creep or two. They actually TP back. We're going to level our E for some mobility. Now we hit for literally 120 damage. Pretty stupid, actually. I wanted to make sure I got that. I would have had to cast Shockwave to get both. That was a nice last hit by him. Don't even have to use Shockwave Poggers. Yeah, this hero feels real strong. I mean, to be fair, I am smirking, but... But this case, since we already have Empower on, we might as well, like, try to push the lane and pull the hard camp. We're just spamming him out a little bit. It's nice to push the lane now, because we can pull, and we can go get the Lotus. Might contest. So we're not going to get the Lotus just yet. We don't want Ursa to free farm this. Awesome pattern there. Drop all our stat items and use the Lotus. Next value. Here's his items, he has a stick. Engagement going on over here. We're full HP and these guys are all super low. I'm actually gonna use that advantage to just paint in. They're definitely not supposed to go on there. They're underestimating my raw power! Okay. Same thing here, but we're gonna drop our items this time. Because we can. Could have maybe denied that. I'm gonna try to pull hard because the techies or the CM is gonna be respawning. People in this are not picking up lotuses and they're not picking up runes. Definitely a problem, guys. It's been like two weeks. Really big part of this patch. I will gladly take the rune. I'm gonna call out that I want stacks. A lot of the good uh, cores right now like stacks. Moments like this are good to look around the map. It looks like our mid is losing pretty bad. I TP it away, so I'm letting Pugna have top. I'll take a stat item, please. Perfect. Maybe the glove was better. But I feel like stat items on Universal Heroes seem broken, right? Uh, how's my anti-mage doing? He's level 6 to level 6 on Timber. We don't really do much to Timber, so we're not going to go on him. Just trying to make sure this Legion, who already has 20 dual damage, doesn't snowball too hard. If I can. That's why I'm playing around mid. 
It's really nice to be able to potentially help my teammates, but I'm not going to force anything. I'm going to apply myself a Sal. I see a lot of mags dropping low when they're farming. And I think it's important that I have resources because of what's happening mid. So, sadly, I think the only way we're going to win this game is by having a lot of farm. Like, <laughs> that's usually how it goes in general, but this game especially. Pretty much every problem with hero matchups can be solved by items, boys. And since we first picked and we're kind of countered, and our other lanes are not going fantastically, we just farm. But we farm pretty fast, so we're pretty happy with that, to be honest. We're watching mid. Our Void Spirit has no mana, so we can't really help him. So we're not going to be looking to go mid here. If he dies, he dies. Their heroes are just really good against mine, so I'm not trying to pressure. I can't emphasize that enough. Like, I'm not trying to kill their tower. I'm also trying to save my resources if they do overextend to mid. Uh, turn it around, maybe. I'm going to have, like, full HP this whole time. Like, I'm going to make sure I'm full HP. They took bottom tower. I am getting a lot of farm. What's my anti-mage going? He is going Battle Fury. Magnuses right now don't generally want to follow you around and empower you, so if, you have a, if you're a carry that normally goes Battle Fury with Mag, you'll probably want to go Battle Fury anyways. That's like at the competitive level people are doing that. Okay. I'm going to walk towards mid because this is an efficient time to stack as well as potentially show for a rune fight, so that's like the idea. I still need to get used to farming on Adu Treads instead of... Well, there's like an efficient thing I can do while walking mid, so that's what I'm going to do. Stand aside. Like my team's kind of feeding. Let ATMH have that. That sucks. That we have to tie the time and our TVs at the same time. Still not used to this. Yeah, Andy Trent's now, boys. We got it. Timber, very good. Try to get the CM in there too, but we didn't. Oh my god, always farming on strange reds, it's such a habit. Okay, so I think we're just gonna rush the harpoon. Let's see why not. We'll probably use our skewer a bit more often to move around. Our Baden's going Pavis. Game has slowed down a bit. Legion went blade mail, not a blink yet. We used RP, so we're farming. Use peg pole to get around, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna make my way towards mid, because nobody on my team is farming it. Take the empower duration talent. Okay, so you can overshoot the skewer and it'll still cast. No. Team taking a useless fight. No reason to connect to it. It's useless because there's no meaningful objective there. And we're losing. So we're making like a non-objective aggressive play. Just random to me. We're just farming. Trying to monitor the map a little bit. Void Spirit seems to be on one. He's like, you know, really has a thing out for killing a super tanky timber saw. Seems like. We're gonna totally RP for a solo support worth 400 gold. Literally like three Midas usages. I can't emphasize enough, guys. I'm gonna say it in all my videos. Don't feed us support. It's actually really bad right now. Like, you should totally do that as a core as much as you can. So, my like, kills are just worth so much. I'm gonna go back bottom since I see a bunch mid. If I didn't see a bunch mid, I would have just farmed this camp and maybe gone to wherever they are. But now I've got like a free lane. Hope I don't miss this creep. Damn it. Okay. 
I think I need to make sure I don't die to Legion. So, in a game like this, I'm just gonna go Lincolns. It's really nice on uh, Universal Heroes, because a bunch of damage. I'm still on I'm still on Strange Reds, guys. I am actually such a noob. Oh, this guy's fucking deep. I'll actually show up. My team is nuts. I should probably be empowering my anti-mage and uh, other guy more, but to be honest, they're kind of doing weird stuff, so... They're just doing really weird things. We're in a uh, ultra solo carry the game mode, boys. I'm trying to yoink this camp before the enemy team takes it. I want you guys to know, I would play this exact same way in my games if my teammates were playing like this. This isn't like a educational smurf strat. Okay. Don't think he expected me to do that much damage. Not gonna go for that since I'm alone and I don't have RP. I like this spawn because I have cleave. Don't want to show because I am alone and uh, they're respawning on Ursa. Legion could TP in. There's just no reason to like. I, I cannot afford to die right before my Lincolns, is really what I'm trying to say. Guild Rune is nice. What? Oh, I can't arc in the dual guy? Okay, no nuts. Oh, got oh. He shielded me before the fucking frostbite. If he had shielded me after, I would have killed the Ursa. How much did I give? Only 900 gold. That's actually less than I thought, to be fair. Like, it's obviously a lot, but... Sadly, my spellcasting for my Abaddon was not very good there. So instead of a blink, we're gonna go a damage version of a blink. I think the Harpoon serves as, like, enough of a blink in this type of situation that I'm fine to go Silver Edge without the blink. Normally in the past, you'd have to go both, like, Silver Edge and blink. Or, like, Shadow Blade and blink. But with this new harpoon item, it's, that's what part part of what makes Mag carry or Mag Core so good. He has a Yules, so got it can't just TP out in front of that guy. How does he not react to that? Unacceptable, dude. They have a ward there on the enemy team. He literally saw them coming through a ward though. Okay. A lot of casual feeding in these games. Maybe the skewer cooldown was better than the RP stats. This is a really bad anti-mage game, by the way. They have Ursa Legion. Not good matchups for anti-mage. Are we gonna get our first tower? Hoggers? Well, it's forwarded, no reason to show ourselves. Looks like Ursa wants to fight. I'm trying to harpoon him when he uses a spell. Damn it. This is taking a tier two. He has no duel. If he goes for the finishing of this tower, I think I should. 
Points taken. He's I don't want to give them a free tier 2, so I'm not going to do that. I have to remember, Universal Heroes are Agi Tread Farmers. Because it's just 10 attack speed, right? And compared to all the other treads, they all give 7 damage. Uh, I'm going to get the crit. This, danger, this area is pretty dangerous because they've had this area warded for a while, clearly. So uh, I'm not like walking into my own jungle now. Legion is showing. Which means I can walk back to bottom lane. He's either going moon shard. Fucking is gonna die on the same ward for the seventh time. <laughs> He's literally died on that same ward like six times. Ago. Actually pursuing I have no duel. I burn? Oh no, I burn. I think if I use my um, spawn, I might have killed them all. Okay, so here's what we're doing wrong, guys. I'm not um, being patient. Looks like the fight kind of worked out, though. But our anti-mage solo died to Legion. So in this case, anti-mage against Legion generally goes Lincolns before Manta, because Manta doesn't save you from duel. So this is like an example where the carry didn't adjust his items to the matchup. I'm trying to like point out to you guys um, things people are doing wrong in the games as a way of hoping, hopefully helping you guys see like a lot of the little differences that add up. So this guy's going four staff instead of like drums and solar. That's what we would want from him in this current patch. Those items are just the best support items right now. Antimage is probably gonna TP top, so we will walk bottom because there's no exact rush to get bottom right now. But what makes Silver Edge super nice right now is that we can basically one-shot the supports at like any point. And I'm watching this fight, but I really don't want to go to it, to be honest. We don't have like a strong team fighting lineup other than me, and my other heroes are not very strong right now. So if I like miss RP, we just kind of... But this is why I didn't TP out of base, right? Because if a fight does break out mid, I want to be able to TP to it. I don't want to have to, but I want to be able to. In this case, we're not even going to finish the range groups, because BM was nearby. So in this case, we're going to do this, because we saw them running at us. We are missing both cores. Might see me. Nullify? Every educational smurf game that I play on this channel is a lobby of volunteers from the BSJ community that are allowing themselves to be smurfed on for your own educational purposes. If you guys would like to take part in these lobbies, make sure to join the Discord link below. And if you'd like a guaranteed spot, make sure you sign up at patreon.com slash BSJ gaming for the starters or deluxe package. Okay, so he can break my Lincolns. These deaths are really bad. We might be losing this game. I saw that he had this, didn't think he was going to have a Lincoln's break anytime soon, but he went for a nullifier. So, we definitely need this Silver Edge. I could have even gone, like, Manta as a way to get out of Frostbite, and you can Manta when Legion blinks to duel you, and it usually disrupts it enough to, like, do something. It's just really hard to hit these enemy heroes, because they have Legion duel, they have CM Frostbite, they have Techies Disarm. They just have a lot of ways that make it difficult to hit them. Okay, so they dueled. I am getting out of here. This is horrible. 
I probably should have built Blink just to be more evasive on the map, to be honest. I'm trying to tell my team there's no reason to fight because there's no creeps. This is definitely a game where if I was better at mag, I would be not have died like two or three times. Like two or three of these deaths I wouldn't have allowed to happen, but since I'm new bad mag, definitely not aware of my limits. Okay, so we have Silver Edge. We do a lot of damage now. We basically like have to hit the guy with Silver Edge to feel good. They might come out as a thing. I really took wish I took the skewer cooldown, by the way. I heavily regret that. How much dual damage does he have? 216. They might defend this with one guy. Since they're, since they're not, I'm just gonna tower. Kind of give them a chance to show. They showed top. Team is feed. How do we win is the question. Do we have to go BKB? We probably have to go blink based on what's happening in the game. I'm gonna go and sell my bracer now. Okay, that's a curse. Oh, I cut the creep wave. Why am I doing this? Absolutely nothing we can do about that, so we're not doing anything. Take a good fight off this. And we're here instead. Fine, fine, I see, I see your play. I hope these guys don't die to Ursa. That would really be sad. Okay. So the question is, what item do we buy that allows us to dispel these annoying things? Is it Manta? Is it Satanic? Is it BKB? Manta Page still has a thing. He doesn't have Fury Swipe on him, why is he so scared? Oh, he's so low, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> this is a rough one, boys. This is a rough one. Might be a BKB situation. Actually, I could go a Nullifier of my own, because it's really good against Ursa, but I also have Legion issues. Maybe Satanic, because I'm against Legion. I actually need to issue I need to address Legion and Ursa is the problem. Please don't die. Season, man. Fuck. It's painful, guys. It's painful. We're gonna smoke ourselves. Wait for Antimage to respawn. Okay, 
we got a fucking mega creep situation, boys. What? I hope the anti mage gets him. Okay. Uh, I think it's a Manta situation now. Need like a stat item that lets me dispel. I don't think BKB is the play. Luckily, we have empower to deal with creep waves. Gotta go to our team right now before they go feed. Play off map pretty much as much as possible, only showing on waves briefly. Legion being dead is really nice, but. I actually think that skewer talent hurt me really badly. Like, I wish I had it so badly. I went Manta because I also had to move around the map a lot, so I chose the move speed option. Out of all the spells. Now with Legion alive, things are a bit scary. to eventually get buildings. But I guess I'll hit a building while they're dead. I'm not worried about empowering my teammates because they're not doing anything anyway. Let's just be it. Let's just call it how it is. Like, I'm not jeopardizing my map position in order to empower them. It's not like a spite thing. That's an example where you don't stay on the creep wave for that extra second. Finish that range. Probably save buyback out of all things right now. So that if they do end up diving after killing me, we can buyback RP them into fountain. Check our item at base. Ooh, spell prism or ninja gear? I'm literally busy worrying about my item, and I had absolutely no excuse there. If I had Manta, I would not let him duel me and then 
enough time would have gone by where I could have silver edged away. So, probably need Satanic for that guy. I'm going to save buyback. I took the Ninja Gear because it's more movement speed around the map. It makes it harder to duel me. Um, you know, attack speed's not bad. I'm a universal hero, so I do get a little bit of damage. I hope he runs away, because the Ursa just killed Roche. This game's been kind of wonky. I think what you can kind of learn from this game is no matter what MMR you are, if you have a few sloppy deaths in a game that's hard, you will lose. But we haven't lost yet. I'm just saying that the game looks really grim because I had two bad deaths early game. Game's absolutely winnable, though. I think I'm by far the most farmed in this game. Zoning the support though. Pugna's got damage. King is damage for team camaraderie. Definitely need the Satanic. Maybe Satanic was a better option just because I'm literally dying to this freaking blade mail when he's not dueling me. Oh! Ooh, that was close, boys. Okay, so we bought out. We have to be a bit careful. We don't have boots anymore. Part of why we really wanted a move speed here for. Got our P in 30. Can't focus too much on talking right now. They have so many ways to cut. I'm not all that familiar with using treads, as you can tell. I think this is a... Might be a strength link game, to be honest, but I'm not sure. What my shard do? Oh, shard seems pretty good. Probably buy that before, because I'll have buyback soon. Gotta monitor my map positioning, though. I'm like, sometimes I do this where I think about items, I like queue them up, and in the meantime I get picked off. Between Silver Edge and Ninja Gear, it's definitely really hard to catch me. Ooh, 
Please help me! Okay. Anti-mage kind of cleaning up. We're doing it! Guys, the fucking legion, and they're just not here. Oh, it's painful. Sorry, sorry, viewers. That was a big legion kill if we could have gone in. So I had to buy back. Means we buy shard. Is there anything I can do about just getting ran down by Ursa? And I think the answer is no. I probably had Satanic available. I have way too many active items, actually. I don't fucking know. But... I actually have way too many active items. I probably had a Satanic available. I don't know if I can even man up to him, to be honest. The Satanic's for Legion. Why it was kind of a bad Satanic game and I didn't want to get one. Okay. He has no buyback on Answer Mitch. And that is not here. We have to Silver Edge Ursa if he blinks in. Really important. Okay, we're gonna get another tier two. Adam was pushing up. Um, he went Radiance, kinda give that some Giga Chat energy. Give you a fucking power for that one. Is uh, back alive and I have no buyback, so I am leaving. Like my supports are not obliging to that. Yeah, I have no buyback, so for themselves. I almost have Swift Link. I'm actually gonna farm some neutrals for it. Maybe pick up a bounty rune here. I feel like I needed the Satanic, but at the same time, it sucks. You guys know what I mean? Same thing with this blink, like I needed it, but it sucks. Ported my courier now rather than later. It's gonna run into somebody, it's probably up there. How long on my buyback? Four minutes? Mage is farming a lane when they're all missing. Hope he lives. PCS flyback. Aim. This is pathetic. More damage for Pugna? Oh, I know. Wait, who got it? Mm. 
We need to get every wave out of our base, because otherwise they can push like a backdoor TP situation. We're using smoke just for move speed right here. Made with no buyback needs to back on his own accord too. Okay, so they didn't have forts, so we forced buybacks, and then we have to back. That's why you go immediately for throne. We could have taken a Rax, but it honestly doesn't matter that much since they have Megas. Really need to keep these waves outside of our base. I shall find them. I approve. Ooh, I was ready for that one, boys. Ah, yes. Oh my gosh. This anti mage has no buyback. Have that makes them envious. They This guy's actually fucking nuts. Uh, I buy back in 30. We need to start the fight outside of base, that's why I'm doing this. can't let them walk up to the throne, they could actually just kill it. Uh, it's Moonshard time. Do we have buyback with Moonshard? Almost. Now we should definitely be able to end. I'm literally just getting one more wave out and then running mid. Okay. Actually, I probably do one more wave because it's barely any more time to like quickly cut it. They have 49 seconds before Ursa's up. They have one fort. Probably should be using my skewer. Wow, crazy game.
Wow, I actually thought I was gonna lose my first smurf game, boys. I actually thought I was gonna lose. My comments for the game are, I think I did a lot of things right conceptually where I left my team to like do their thing because they were kind of just dying. Um, I could have communicated like ward locations, you know, like Pugna dying on the same ward over and over again. You kind of hope your teammates notice that kind of stuff, but you also can't expect them to at this bracket sometimes because my teammates were averaging 1.5k. I mean, overall, I would say since I'm against Legion Ursa, a lot of single target damage, it's tough to solo carry the game. But I also had unnecessary deaths, and I could have perhaps gone Blink Dagger earlier um, and, like, avoided the Legion rather than, like, going Lincolns and trying to, like... Because I felt a bit immobile on the map, and I think I could have maybe picked off the Crystal Maiden and Techies a bit more. So if I, like, reversed my item order where I went, like, Blink, then Lincolns, then Silver Edge, and rather than Lincolns, Crit, Blink, I think that could have been a lot better. Overall, exciting game. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for playing, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.